The Ice Age, a period of glacial episodes within the Earth's history, was a time of remarkable ecological and environmental changes. It was also the epoch of the megafauna, an era dominated by colossal creatures such as mammoths, woolly rhinoceros, and giant sloths. This video explores the fascinating world of these Ice Age giants, their lives, roles in the ecosystem, and the factors that led to their eventual extinction. The Ice Age, a period marked by extensive glacial cover and drastic climatic shifts, was also an epoch that witnessed the rise of an impressive array of megafauna. These giant animals were not just remarkable for their size, but also for their adaptability to the challenging environments of the time. Among the most iconic were the woolly mammoths, woolly rhinoceros, and giant sloths, each representing a unique adaptation to the Ice Age world. Woolly mammoths, perhaps the most emblematic of the Ice Age giants, roamed across the vast stretches of North America, Europe, and Asia. Their massive bodies, reaching up to 11 feet in height and weighing as much as 6 tons, were covered in a thick coat of fur, with an underlayer of insulating fat. Their long, curved tusks, which could extend up to 15 feet, were not only a defense mechanism, but also vital tools for foraging through deep snow to reach vegetation. The woolly rhinoceros, another magnificent creature, was a common sight in the tundra of Eurasia. Adapted to the cold climate, these animals had thick shaggy fur and a large hump of fat for insulation. Their impressive horns, some of which measured over 2 meters long, were a defining characteristic, likely used in mating displays, combat, and digging through snow to find food. Giant sloths, such as the megatherium, were a testament to the diversity of the megafauna. Native to South America, these enormous animals could stand up to 20 feet tall when rearing up on their hind legs. Their size and strength allowed them to reach high into trees to feed on leaves and branches, while their formidable claws could be used for defense against predators. Mastodons, another group of large herbivores similar to but distinct from mammoths, inhabited forests and wetlands of North America and Eurasia. They had shorter, straighter tusks and a diet that included a larger proportion of woody vegetation, as evidenced by their differently shaped teeth. The saber-toothed cat, commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, was one of the most fearsome predators of the Ice Age. With elongated, blade-like canine teeth, these predators were well-equipped to hunt and bring down large prey, including young mammoths and mastodons. In addition to these, the Ice Age was home to a range of other large animals, including the cave bear, the Irish elk with its enormous antlers, and the American short-faced bear, one of the largest bear species ever to have existed. Each of these animals played a crucial role in the ecosystems of the Ice Age. They were not only adaptively remarkable, but also integral to the environmental balance, influencing vegetation patterns, and serving as key players in their respective food chains. In conclusion, the majesty of the megafauna of the Ice Age lay in their immense size, diverse adaptations, and the roles they played in shaping the prehistoric world. Their existence offers a window into a time when giants walked the earth, a period of evolutionary splendor that continues to captivate the human imagination. The Ice Age environment, characterized by its extreme cold, fluctuating landscapes, and varied ecosystems, presented unique challenges to the megafauna that inhabited it. The adaptations these animals evolved were crucial for their survival in such harsh conditions. Ranging from physical traits to behavioral strategies, these adaptations were a testament to the resilience and versatility of life during this epoch. The most evident adaptation among many Ice Age animals was their size. Larger bodies have a smaller surface area relative to volume, which is more efficient in retaining heat, a principle known as Bergman's rule. This adaptation was vital for conserving body heat in the frigid Ice Age climate. The woolly mammoth, with its massive size, is a prime example of this adaptation, as are the woolly rhinoceros and the giant sloths. Thick fur or woolly coats were another critical adaptation. This feature provided essential insulation against the extreme cold. The woolly mammoth and woolly rhinoceros, for example, had dense outer layers of fur, along with a shorter undercoat for additional warmth. Even the giant sloths, despite their more temperate habitats, had thick fur to protect against colder spells. Adaptations in body extremities were also crucial. The mammoth's large tusks were not only tools for foraging under the snow for vegetation, but also possibly used to clear snow. Similarly, the large curved claws of the giant sloths were likely used not only for foraging, but also for digging and defense. Many Ice Age animals also developed specialized teeth and digestive systems to process the tough fibrous vegetation available during the period. The grinding teeth of mammoths and the complex stomachs of giant sloths are examples of such adaptations, allowing them to maximize the nutritional value of their food. Behavioral adaptations were just as important as physical ones. 
Some animals, like certain species of mammoths, migrated long distances to find food, while others, like the woolly rhinoceros, adapted to life in the open cold grasslands of the steppe tundra. Hibernation and torpor were strategies used by some smaller Ice Age animals to survive the winter months. Cave bears and certain species of squirrels are examples of animals that use prolonged sleep or reduced metabolic states to conserve energy during the coldest times. In conclusion, the adaptations of the Ice Age megafauna to their environment were multifaceted, involving a combination of physical and behavioral traits. These adaptations not only allowed them to survive in a challenging climate, but also to thrive and dominate the landscapes of the Pleistocene epoch. Their ability to adjust and evolve in response to their surroundings offers a compelling glimpse into the evolutionary process and the diversity of life on Earth. The interactions between Ice Age megafauna and early humans were pivotal in shaping the course of human evolution and the history of these magnificent creatures. These interactions, which ranged from coexistence to conflict, played a significant role in the cultural, technological, and subsistence practices of early human societies. Hunting was a central aspect of the relationship between early humans and Ice Age megafauna. Humans, equipped with increasingly sophisticated tools and weapons, hunted these large animals for food, skins, and bones. Mammoths, in particular, were prized targets, providing not only a substantial source of meat, but also fur for clothing, bones for constructing shelters and tools, and tusks for making art and utensils. This hunting relationship had significant evolutionary implications It fostered the development of complex hunting strategies and social cooperation, as taking down such large and potentially dangerous animals required careful planning, teamwork, and communication. The development of advanced hunting tools, including spears, atlatls, spear throwers, and later, bows and arrows, can be partially attributed to the need to hunt these large creatures effectively. The megafauna also influenced the cultural and spiritual lives of early human societies. Many Ice Age cultures revered these animals, which is evident in the cave paintings found in Europe and other parts of the world. These paintings and carvings often depict mammoths, woolly rhinoceros, and other megafauna, indicating their importance in the daily lives and belief systems of these communities. However, the interaction between early humans and megafauna was not without its challenges. The overhunting of these animals by humans is considered one of the contributing factors to their extinction. As human populations expanded and their hunting techniques became more efficient, the pressure on megafauna populations increased, leading to a decline in their numbers. Additionally, the arrival of humans in new habitats often coincided with the disappearance of megafauna species. This was particularly noticeable in regions such as North America and Australia, where the rapid extinction of large animals followed soon after human colonization. In conclusion, the interactions between early humans and Ice Age megafauna were complex and had profound impacts on both. For early humans, these interactions were crucial in driving technological innovation, social development, and cultural expression. For the megafauna, these interactions represented a significant challenge, contributing to the eventual decline and extinction of many of these species. The legacy of these interactions provides valuable insights into human prehistory and the dynamics of human-animal relationships. The extinction of the Ice Age megafauna remains one of the most intriguing mysteries in paleontology and ecology, marked by a series of extinctions that swept across continents at the end of the last Ice Age. This mass extinction event saw the disappearance of numerous large mammals and other animals, a phenomenon that has sparked intense scientific debate and research. One leading theory for the extinction centers on climate change. The end of the Ice Age brought significant shifts in climate, altering habitats and ecosystems at a rapid pace. The retreat of glaciers led to changes in vegetation, from open grasslands to more forested areas, which may not have supported the large herbivores that depended on vast steppe tundra landscapes. These environmental changes likely put significant survival pressures on megafauna, affecting their food sources and habitats. Another prominent theory is overkill by human hunting. As early humans spread across the globe, their efficiency as hunters improved with advancements in tools and hunting strategies. The overhunting hypothesis suggests that human predation was a significant driving force behind the extinction of many large animals, especially in regions like North America and Australia, where the extinctions coincided with human arrival. A third perspective involves a combination of both climate change and human impacts, suggesting that while climate shifts altered the environments of these giant animals, human hunting added additional stressors that pushed these species to extinction. 
This synergistic effect of climate and human activity could have accelerated the decline of megafauna populations, leading to their eventual disappearance. Disease is another factor considered by some scientists. The spread of diseases, either through migrating human populations or through contact between different animal species, could have played a role, although this theory is less substantiated compared to climate and human impact. The extinction of the Ice Age megafauna had significant ecological ramifications. Their disappearance led to what is known as a Pleistocene rewilding, a major shift in the structure of ecosystems around the world. The loss of large herbivores and predators altered the dynamics of food webs, influencing everything from vegetation patterns to the behavior of other species. In conclusion, the extinction of the Ice Age megafauna is a complex event with multiple contributing factors. The interplay between climate change, human activities, and other potential factors like disease created a confluence of pressures that led to one of the most significant extinction events in Earth's history. Understanding this extinction is crucial, not only for comprehending the past, but also for insights into current and future biodiversity loss and conservation efforts. The megafauna of the Ice Age, with their grandeur and might, were unlike anything seen in the modern world. Their existence and extinction offer valuable insights into the dynamics of ecological change, the impact of climate shifts, and the role of humans in the environment. The study of these magnificent creatures continues to fascinate scientists and laypeople alike providing a glimpse into a lost world where giants once roamed the earth.